how to make cool looking dice trays like these today on Dungeon Craft. Welcome to Dungeon Craft. I am Professor Dungeon Master, and this channel is about running the ultimate game of Dungeons and Dragons. You can level up your game by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications, and you'll be on your way to adventure. So today I have a quick and easy craft. I get a lot of uh, notes like uh, from for people that don't craft. Hey, hey, Professor, I like your channel. I like your D and D advice, but uh, I'm not into the whole crafting scene. I do it all mine's eye. Get back to the D and D videos. But everyone can enjoy crafting dice trays, right? Because you need a dice tray, and these can get pretty expensive. I've seen these retail for like twenty or thirty dollars. The, the great thing about this project is you don't need any skills in carpentry or woodworking or anything at all, and you can do it in about thirty minutes. I'm going to show you how. Let's go to the table. Okay, so we have this box from Art Minds. I got that at Michael's, and the material is self-sticking felt. It's made by a company called Creatology, and the back peels off, and it's a sticker. I'm just going to fit it to the area lay it down to make sure it's flush, it fits right. Then I'm gonna remove it and come back to it later because I gotta stain the wood first. I sand the wood with a medium grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna vacuum it up with a vacuum cleaner or you could use a damp cloth to get the sawdust off. We wanna have a nice smooth finish, no splinters. Here I use Verithane wood stain, which is common, you can find in any hardware store, and I'm using the color Cognac, which is kind of a reddish kind of brown. You could use a, a darker brown or a black, whatever you prefer. And I cover the entire box, it's not rocket science. I use a cheap Hobby Lobby brush, I think I got this one for 40 cents so I could throw it away at the end. I use vinyl gloves so the oil-based paint doesn't stain my fingers. Allow the stain five minutes to penetrate the wood before wiping it off with a dry cloth. The instructions say to let it dry for an hour, but I let it dry overnight before I seal it. And that's pretty much it. You could spray it with a sealer like Minwax just to uh, seal it. Or you could purchase a uh, stain and sealer in one. Look at that wood grain, it looks terrific. Peel off the back of that sticker, fit it to the box, and our dice tray is ready for the table. Dice trays make a great gift for your special someone for anniversaries, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, and they'll never know that you spent less than $10 on it. Make sure you got that 40% Michael's coupon, by the way. This is the reddish one I made for this video. This is a, uh, a darker stain. If you prefer that, you could do black. You could do the felt. Uh, it comes in purple and all sorts of cool colors. And now you got a dice tray of your own. Wasn't that easy? Now, if you want more videos on how to make your life as DM more easy, check out these videos over here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, join our Facebook group. Questions or comments, put them below. Once again, I'm Professor Dungeon Master. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the table, and may all your rolls be 20s.